So this video is on tips and tricks on how to shift this car, how to operate the clutch. This car is probably one of the worst that I've ever had as far as driving it smoothly. And with all the mods that I've done, it helped that aspect a lot, but there's still a lot of things that I've noticed a lot of people don't know. Right when I got the car, I noticed that the grab point of the stock clutch pedal or stock clutch is really far from the floor. And that made it really, really difficult to drive it smoothly. And yes, you can get used to it, but it still feels unnatural. It feels like as you let it out, when you're about to let it out fully, that's when the car starts to kind of grab and uh, basically makes everything difficult, like hill starts, uh, just normal shifting, f going fast. I basically made like a clutch stopper. The grab point feels like it's much closer to the floor. And basically that helped a ton. First thing first, you press the clutch in, start the car, then you put it in gear, make sure that your brake is off too. Let out the clutch and you press the gas pedal. Once you get that grab point, stay there with your foot. I'm not fully letting go the clutch pedal yet. If I do, then this happens and basically stalls, right? Once you get to the grab point, just sort of stay there, you know, and keep playing with the gas pedal a little bit. And as you start moving, give it more gas, you just want to let it go finally. So once you get the starts down, now it's time to practice shifts. So the idea is that you don't want to let the RPM of the engine drop too low between your shifts. So you want to shift as fast as possible, but also as smoothly as possible. I press the clutch in, I put it in fourth, and I let it out while pressing the gas pedal in. And once again, it's like the perfect balance of clutch to gas. Once you get that practice, it's time to do downshift. So you want to match the RPM of the engine to the new gear that you're trying to get into. So right now I'm in fourth gear. I press the clutch pedal in, I press the gas pedal a little bit. It's called a throttle tap. I bring the RPM up and then I've let out the clutch. So once again, let's do a third gear to second. So this gear is actually like has a shorter ratio to second. So you have to rev up a little bit more than from fourth to third. Second gear. See, I brought the RPM to like four, four and a half thousand. And then I let out the clutch and it's perfect. I don't usually do like downshifts when I come to a stop because uh, it does wear out your components and you don't want to be doing that really unless you're trying to show off or just having fun. You can do a few shifts here and there, but if you're always doing that, then just get ready to replace your clutch pretty quickly. So the way I drive it is just like that. The faster you go, the quicker you let it out. If I'm trying to go fast and I'm upshifting, let out the clutch pedal as quickly as I can. But if I'm not going really fast and like redlining, then I don't want to dump the clutch too quickly either because it results in the shock to the drivetrain. And the car basically does like one of these, like where it just goes rrr, rrr. But if you're like near a red line and full throttle, it's smoother as, you know, the more RPM you get. And you want to do it as quickly as possible, that whole transition, the, the clutch and gas. So right now I'm going kind of medium speed and I'm not letting out the clutch too quickly. So I want like the perfect smoothest shift. So what I do is I get to the grab point really quickly, like, and then I stop, right? And then I let it out slower past that point. So that's really the trick. This is one of those things you just have to continuously make it a point to practice. There's also a more advanced method, it's called heel toe. And basically what it means is, as you're pressing the brake and slowing down, you want to downshift, right? And the way to do it is, as your foot is on the brake pedal, you need to tap the gas pedal as you downshift. If you're braking, let's say you're going in, into a turn and you want to downshift to come out of the turn in, in the right gear, so you want a heel toe. It's uh, basically absolutely useless for daily driving, but something you want to learn or you take your car to the track or the canyons it's it could be very beneficial so another thing about manual cars is if you see a tunnel like this or an overpass you have to lower your windows turn off your AC
definitely increase your overall skill. And you definitely want to rev at people, like quite a bit because it'll help a lot with the balance of clutch to gas. And I'm trying to think what else to talk about. So once again, just to review, basically the idea is that once again, the balance, you know, first gear. So let go of the brake quickly and the whole balance of just like that. So your clutch is in and then you go like this you know equally but that's only once you get to the grab point and my grab point is right near the floor almost let's say stock WRX or STI depending on the year it's gonna have a grab point really really far off so what you want to do is you want to let go of the brake and then let out the clutch completely to the grab point you basically have to learn where exactly it starts right as you feel it that's when you start press pressing the gas pedal it's like this you know, if that makes sense. So you just have to, it's one of those things a lot of people told me it's how annoying it is because of the grab point being so far off. So yeah, so let it out, the car starts to move. And now I let out the clutch completely. Only once it's already moving and I feel confident that it's not gonna stall or it's not gonna like do one of these, uh, you know. To get the best shift experience out of this car, the mods I would recommend personally are the shift plate by Boomba, also the short shifter, uh, heavy shift knob, it should be anywhere from like 500 to 1000 grams and that actually absorbs a lot of vibration, a lot of like little micro jitters. Also you need a shift stopper which is like a small unit that limits uh, first to second like when you throw the stick to the left to go into first, it limits to how far to the left it goes so it actually helps guide the shifter to first and second it makes a huge difference actually another thing I have is the transmission mount in this case I have the billet uh, mount with bushings and I really like it it does introduce a little bit of um, like vibration and noise like gear grind and things like that it actually stiffens up the transmission a lot and the shifts become um, I guess more precise you know and you actually also get more rumble out of your car and another mod I have is a positive shift bushing kit it's by white line so once again it just stiffens up the transmission I guess there's less wobble when you like shift in hard all together it makes it totally changes the car like there's really no way to compare this now to the stock one every shift is like just feels mechanical you know like there's no saggy feel to it like for example when the stick goes into gear it just stops like Poof. so that's why you need a heavy shift knob for this so this is it for tips and tricks and um, hope this helps i think i've covered everything all right have a good one